Lesterfield, Massachusetts, a quiet town 20 miles north of Boston. Consecutive winner of the Best Town Award, beating out North Lesterfield four years in a row. It's been called a lot of things. Beautiful, charming, a landlocked Bermuda Triangle, quaint. We're a pretty normal town. We have a football field, a lake, a haunted old mill, a bird watching trail. You may look fairly normal, but weird stuff has been happening in my town for as long as I can remember, for as long as anyone can remember. The first haunting took place in 1889 when one Miss Allen Fields cat was kidnapped in broad daylight. After that, things just got weirder. Car crashes, wildfires, crushed dreams. You name it, it's happened here. Some people say we're just unlucky. Others that we're just, like, really unlucky. But me, I think- What are you doing? Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Making the movie. Oh, right, right. I think it's coming out pretty good. But I could use your help on the- Dude, did you see where I put my granola bars? No, but would you be able to help me with this? I swear I put them in here somewhere. Tim- will be the third bag I lost this week. I just cleaned this area. Could you at least make, like, a pile? I swear I put them around here somewhere. You know how much these things cost? If we break this early in the week, we're screwed. I mean, if we break it at all, the Film Fest people will be pissed, but... Don't relax. It's not like I've never held a camera before. I mean, it's just like a big iPhone, right? Sleep. Hey, do you mind taking a look at this font? I'm not sold on it. Looks fine. Fine, or... I don't really think that the judges will be looking that hard at what font you use. Yeah, but Dr. Harding will. All right, forgot he was your advisor. I mean, it's cool he's willing to help me get into film school. His name has a lot of pull in the business, but at the same time, he's so picky about everything. Yeah, but the prize money won't hurt towards tuition. I mean, I'm not going for any kind of award here. Money, not award. Yeah, this font looks fine. Dude, I'm telling you, the only people that sign up for this type of thing are like middle school students and retirees with way too much time on their hands. We'll go into the house, shoot like 10 minutes of video, and boom, portfolio complete. This will be a breeze. Hey yo, what's up? I'm Kevin. I'm Robbie. I'm Simon. And I'm Alex. And you're watching Spectre Smashers 246! It's not a ripoff because we're unaware of the franchise. Well, that new lady won the school. Yeah, sure. But anyway, we've got a great, great episode for you today. We're entering the LFTV Film Festival. Festival! And you know what that means? High, High definition, definition ghoul hunting. 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 I know on this channel we talk a lot about specters and spooks, but thanks to this bad boy and some extra funding from Robbie's mom. Love you, mom. It brings us to this year's topic of the film festival. Ooh, nice. Spooky. Thank you. <clears throat> the Vampire of Tremont Place. The most, the most feared creature in all of North Fountain County. The scariest spook this town has ever seen. Well, I wouldn't go that far. The Vampire of Tremont Place. Real name, Mr. John Doe. We don't know much about him. Government tries to keep his secret. Well, I wouldn't. You can't find much about him in the town records. Turns out, John Doe is a pretty common name. Weird, because I've never met anyone named that. It's like 12 nicks in my class. But what we do know is that he was born sometime between 1700 and 1730. Boring. But when he dies is where it gets interesting. Here's what we know. Mr. Doe exited his apartment sometime late afternoon on March 31st, 1776. Some think he went to pick up groceries. Others think that he was headed to Florida in a nefarious plan by the British government to stop George Washington from crossing the Delaware. Wherever he was headed, we know he never got there. 
The police found Mr. Doe's body in the basement of 237 Tremont Place. It was ruled an accident by the police, but they noted that on his neck there were two small puncture marks. The night he died, there was a freak storm that blew down half the town. Since that day, every year on the anniversary of the storm, one person in Lesterfield has gone missing. Granted, they're usually teenagers who show up a few days later after blowing off some steam. But still. Kevin! Oh, God. What did I tell you about wrapping up your little brother in all this ghost nonsense? Actually, Miss Pierce, he's a vampire this time. He's too young for this. You're going to give him nightmares. Mom! Alex, get over here. It's just for the channel! We have talked about this a thousand times, Alexander Pierce. We're just two days away from the anniversary of Mr. Doe's transformation into a vampire. And this time, I'm going to catch him in the act. Anyway, that's all we've got for you today. As always, like, follow, subscribe, and thanks for watching Spectre Smashers, Smashers 246! That was a good one. I know, right. Chills. How the heck do you work this thing? So saying, mister. Do you see anything? No, I don't see anything. Just listen to the boy. If you would just let me. I'm looking as hard as I can. Try without glasses. Now there's an idea. I think you're doing it wrong. Oh, really, Clive? What? I didn't drop it. You have to be more careful. Give hmm. me another go. I think I figured it out. Clive? Give me another go. Not unless you swear that you'll be careful with it. I'll be careful. I can be careful. Now give me another go. It seems to me that you have un everything under control. So I'm just going to leave you to it. Are you sure we know everything? Yeah, you know enough. If you need any further advice, um, we can just let you know, right? Yep. What's your name again? It's Cody. I gave you my card with my info. Sell an email. Text is enough, though. Text? Yep. Bye. Do you see anything yet, Clive? If it didn't work the first time, it's not going to work now. Glasses. Try without the glasses. Oh, right. Right. Why? You can't just whip that thing around willy-nilly. Ah, this thing is actually pretty... cool. I'm so close to figuring it out. What's the red button mean? I think it's recording us. Oh, jeez. Your fault, your fault. Do you think it's okay? Hello there. Hi, yes, hello. Clive. Oh, right. You said that I would start. Well, I should. We all agreed that I would start. I think I should start. Who cares here? Hi. Well, now we have to start over. Start over? Or at least edit out this part. Edit? How do we do that? Sure. I think we just turn off the camera and we... We can figure this all out later. Let's just get this opening film done. Right, let's all settle down. But I need to start, though. I really think I should Hello there, my name is Bonnie. This is Marty. These are my friends, Marty and Clive. We will be filming about the elusive Mothman of Lesterfield. Now, this wasn't so hard, was it? I I'm thinking after the initial voiceover, I might get some interviews with some people around town before going into the house for the big finale. Sounds cool. Yeah, and then it will end with a ghost coming straight for the camera or something else scary. Nice. Are you going to use special effects for that? What? You know, like the CGI stuff that they do in movies? No, I know what CGI is, but I don't understand why I'd need to use it. For the ghost. Wait, you don't actually believe in ghosts, do you? Tim, you've known me for how many years now? I think I would have made my obsession with ghosts pretty apparent. You mean you weren't joking? No, why would I be? I don't know, maybe because they don't exist? They're real, like it or not, and I'm gonna find one. Right? Sure, I love all that stuff. I'm not sure if I'd refer to the paranormal as stuff, but see, he gets it. Well, what happens if hypothetically speaking, you don't find this ghost, what happens to your movie then? 
my investigation of life after death doesn't end because the film festival ends. It's going to be my life's work. Sounds pretty intense. And when it's all said and done, Dr. Harding won't even be able to think about the font that I used. You worry me sometimes. Okay, so you're all packed up with this additional camera. You can do what you want. Cool, thanks. Which team? Spectre Smasher 246. Yep, I have your stuff packed up over here. Cool. Spectre Smashers, huh? I'm guessing your project about, is about ghosts and stuff. Yes, specifically the case of John Dunn. Yeah, you know, we're just some goofy kids making a goofy horror movie. Gotcha. Should be fun. I wish there were opportunities like this when I was your age. Yep. yep. Here you go, all packed up and ready. Thanks, man. Did you hear them all, Cody? Unfortunately. You don't get it. Well? Each team is doing a video on the Ultramont Mill. And? This might be a lot easier than we planned. So, you ever been to this before? Dude, shady building with a mysterious past that someone may have died in? You know my mother. She never let me anywhere near it. It's awesome. I go about once a month. She's never found out, too. All right, let's start recording. Hey, what's up? Spectre Smashers 246 back with a quick update video. We are currently going to our target building before we start the hunt. This is going to be epic. This place is creepy. There are spiders, mice, and a few bats. This place could fall apart any second as well. You can't go far without finding some locked doors inside. And that's where these babies come in. Yeah, breaking and entering. Yeah. Wait. Our hunt will officially go down in two hours. Make sure to hit the bell icon to be immediately notified for when it goes live. You do not want to miss it. The mystery of John Doe will finally be solved. See you then. Best be done. As always. Oh, thank you. Ah, there it is. Tremont Place. Quite beautiful, isn't it? Pretty cool, huh? 237 Tremont Place. Wow. This is gonna be insane. I think this room seems good. I don't know. This room has too much light. I want to make the room as inviting as possible to the spirits. I want them to feel comfortable and to embrace our presence. Yeah, sure. Look, I'm going to set up the camera, then I'm going to eat a mini muffin, and then I'll worry about you becoming best friends with the ghosts and ghouls. Helps bringing out the positive spirits. I don't want them to react negatively to us being here. You know way too much about this stuff. Oh, now you're talking. Let's set up a place to take a nap. That's not what this is for. I'm gonna put some crystals in here to encourage the spirits to enter the space and to- Embrace the space. Yeah, now you're getting into the mood. No, I was trying to make fun of you, but apparently I failed at that.
came off my legs and he ate those all now. Sleeps during the day and during the night goes up to stalk his prey. Then in the early morning he'll wrap his victim in a cocoon. Our hope is to either find him leaving the old mill or returning with his victim. Or finding his uh, previous victim. How am I supposed to get up to the attic? Walk up the stairs. Oh, of course I can make it. Oh, don't you worry about me. I'll make it. I've been telling the story of the Mothman my whole life, only for him to laugh at me, including my late wife. I'll do anything to prove that I'm right. That's the spirit. I, I'm tired of people laughing at me. My kids, that's why my kids put me into retirement home. They think I'm losing it. I'm just hoping to win some money. I want to check out that new casino everybody's talking about. Monty, I thought the other day I heard you talking to Mary about how when you were a kid, your friend went missing and he was never found and you thought the Mothman did it. That was just to get Mary's attention. She's a looker. It's too early. Let's go check it out. Three nights. That's what we came for. I think this ghost is like friendly or after or something. <sighs> Watch it, Golden Girls! <sighs> you know they can't hear you. Yeah, I know. But they did hear that loud bang. Textbook creepy. Textbook haunted. Whoa! I found the source of the sound. <sighs> oh, God. Easy there, Phantasm. I could have popped you one. I'd like to see you try it, Sonny. Come, follow. The youngest one. I haven't seen him in years. Me and Clive used to live near him. Is he dead? Maybe he is. Maybe he's joined the ranks of restless spirits and ghouls that have infested this here palace. That's a little dramatic, Eric. Eh, he's probably just knocked out. Son, son, please get out. No, don't, don't take me. He's alive. I get by your bum ticker. Hey. I taught you that word. It's gonna take a lot more than a little boy to kill Bonnie Adams. Dude, what were you doing? That shiny even fell from the ceiling. Why? To get a shot of the vampire. Vampire? You mean Rockman? No, I'm pretty sure Simon said vampire. Simon? Yeah, my brother's friend. See the vampire? No, my brother's friend. Simon Polver? Yeah, do you know him? Yeah, my younger brother goes to school with him. He says he's kind of weird. Yeah, that's Simon. So is Simon here? He's supposed to be. Him, my brother Kevin, and the other friend Robbie are supposed to be here to film The Vampire of Tremont Place for the LFTV Film Festival. I knew there was more phenomena than I was aware of. That's fascinating. Tell me more. Wait, wait, wait. First, I'm men who are far too young to be in this old mill. And second, everyone knows that the Mothman resides in this mill. Not a vampire. Well, I've heard tales of the Mothman, but my dad said that it was just the town covering up some missing kid mysteries falling on dead ends. Mystery's right. Charlie didn't run away. He was my best friend. We would have ran away together. I knew it. I knew you believed in the Mothman. Damn right I do. Old Mr. Henderson told me about the Mothman two days after Charlie disappeared, and it's the only thing that makes sense. This is great. We should pull our ideas together to make one movie. Then the world will see that paranormal activity is alive and well in Lesterfield. We could have our own reality television show and bring the truth to the masses. No, no. You're here to prove that the Mothman exists and to prove that I am not a crazy old man. Um, I'm pretty sure that my brother and his friends wouldn't want to do that. In my head, it's on my image to work with some old people. Who are you calling old? Um, we're going to go back to recording our own movie and leave you hooligans to see your own stories. Hooligans? Clive, I don't even say that. Son of a Yeah, I think I'm gonna go and find my brother. 
Yeah, get your head checked. See? I told you this place was a conduit for the ethereal plane. Pretty sure I'm the only sane person in this building. deal with the whole work together with random people from earlier. I mean, I know you don't care about the fact that we would have to split the prize money with that group, but I thought part of this was about proving yourself, not a bunch of strangers. Yeah, I guess I just got wrapped up in the moment and excited because when those interviews went south, it was refreshing to see that other people were as interested in the paranormal as I was. Well, maybe if you didn't run at everyone and yell things about the ghosts, you maybe would have gotten some people to actually interview. Do you know about the statue? <laughs> Dude! Whoa! Have you heard about the paranormal activity at Tremont Mill? Uh, sorry. should read, Haunted Tremont Mill. Is this town as safe as you think it is? How do you feel about how monsters are living in your town? Mommy! Mommy! <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. But hey, who needs them? This movie will put them in their place. That's a bit dark. You know what I mean. And if you don't For find- For the last time- Look, to... we're putting a lot of effort into this whole thing and I really hope it isn't all for nothing. Really, I do. Have you at least considered some alternatives if things don't go as planned? Yes, but I'm going to stand by my beliefs till the very end. Mm, that's fine. It's good to know that you have things at least planned out. And hey, if anything, those people showing up at the mill just gives you more evidence to support your hypothesis. It's hard to take that as a serious statement coming from you. Look, I know I was a bit pessimistic about this whole thing, and I still do have my doubts, but I feel like this could be a lot of fun. Let's go hunt some ghosts. That's the spirit. Really? Nothing? What, was that supposed to be a joke or something? Yeah, a pun. Spirit? Ghosts? You know? Oh! That was awful. Thanks. Simon. Simon, what time is it? 7.30. A little early for research. I mean, we were up to 12 last night. I didn't sleep at all. You, you what? Yes, and also made a shooting schedule. You know, at night and dusk, for obvious reasons. Alex didn't even get the GoPro up yesterday. Don't you think it's a little dangerous to head in guns blazing? You mean stakes and crosses. This is an amateur hour, my friend. Vampire slaying, Simon? You're not Van Helsing. 
What's the man Al say? Go back to sleep, Alex. This is above your pay grade. You're not paying me. Sleep now, my child, if you're late after me. Oh, you, stop. Listen, if you want me to go to the mill, I can. I just don't want to see that witchy lady, Bonnie. One of the geezers? Yeah, I know Monty and Clive used to be our neighbors before they moved them to the old people houses. You mean retirement center? Yeah, but I didn't know Bonnie. She was like pale and translucent. Did you say Bonnie? Yeah, Adams. What's wrong, Simon? I was scanning over an old obituary I found of John Doe on chillingtownytales.com. Yeah? And apparently, the nurse who discovered the marks on his neck. Yeah. Was a Mrs. Bonnie Frederick Adams. Rise and shine, sleepyheads. You have a lot of work to do today if you're going to win that contest. Oh, Mom, I'm getting up right now. You haven't told me what your movie is about, by the way. Oh, it's super cool, Mom. It's about the old mill. Yeah, we're just doing a documentary about when the mill closed its doors in 1976. Oh my goodness, that is so wonderful. I was worried you were going to be doing something stupid about ghosts and vampires and all that made up stuff. Actually, Mrs. Pierce, there's a lot of scientific fact that backs up the belief that there's life after death. Kevin, you should ask your dad to see some of his old scrapbooks. I think he has some pictures of the old mill from when his Uncle Stu worked there in the 60s. Sounds good, Mom. Okie doke. Anywho, come eat breakfast. I made pancakes. Pancakes? I miss you, pal. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna tell us what happened. I mean, we've heard the basics over the years, but I think it would help you to tell us the story. It just seems so weird. I mean, it's not even my story to tell, and I don't even know the details myself. Tell us about Charlie. Oh, Charlie, it feels like just yesterday. We were going and driving movies with Martha Lee and Susie. Susie Manson. Sucking on loose, loose dimes and nickels. Um, I'm gonna need to hear that last bit again. We were happy. And he was, and I was for the most part. For the most part. He never knew his parents. Sometimes his grandmother would fly off the handle. Call him call him names like baby boy, little angel, really sick stuff like that. One of the most manipulative women I have ever met. Oh. And eventually, all of it got to him. <sighs> Started acting up. Wasn't himself. One day, he told me he wanted to show me something. He told me to meet him in the woods behind the old mill. I got there just after sunset. Charlie was nowhere in sight. Been an hour searching for him. No sight. I was about to head home when I saw something a few yards deep in the woods. Thought it was Charlie, so I ran over, but stopped dead in my tracks. That someone was a something. My mother always told me tales about the devil and to listen to Bing Crosby because the devil walks on the wrong side of the road. But she also told me he was as real as you and me. She told me he had many names. Beezlebub, Lucifer, Satan, Elvis Presley, and fellas, that night his name was Mothman. The next day, Charlie's grandparents informed the authorities that he had been nowhere in sight. They looked through all his stuff. They saw that most of it got, the most of it was missing. They just saw this as another teenage runaway. The case is still open today, but this town doesn't care about its people. They need, they have an image to maintain. I'm so sorry, Marty. Some real flashback material. I'm so sorry, Marty. Why didn't you tell us sooner? I thought you, th I thought you thought that I was one of those Vincent Price wannabes. I thought you quit when you heard you were working with a loon. Never, Marty. 
We're in this together. I'm on a fixed income with orange Chinese chicken on Wednesdays and free records on Sundays. I don't give no damn about no money. Oh, what pals. What pals I have. Well, your story seems to confirm that the Mothman is hiding around the old mill. So, maybe we should head there around dinner time, let's say, uh, 4.30? No, I promised that Piers, that nice Piers girl, I would have dinner with her and her family. She invited you too, Clive! Is she one of those, uh, food crumbs? You mean vegans? No, we're having steak. Ah, I love you, good bloody steak. Did someone say bloody steak? You were asleep? I thought you were just doing the thing where you snore while you're awake. Oh. Bonnie. Bonnie! Bonnie! Sadie Pierce invited us for dinner. She's serving steak. Do you want to come? Oh yeah, sure. I love a good bloody steak. Do we even bother going back in there? I mean, we all know that there's something in there. Uh, whatever it was, it seemed pretty pissed. I mean, I don't. I'm not in the mood to set it off. Just let the teams deal with it. Oh, hey guys. What are you doing here? Everything all right? All right, everything's fine. We're just over here because it's hot. So much sure you guys mentioned it. Okay. You sure? You guys seem pretty shaken up. What well, is pretty mo remarkable? How uh, about the Yakutaku style? How it's pretty impressive how they could have built it back then, and f those guys could do, and how those guys could do it. What are you guys up to? Just getting some more footage for the film festival. Well, have fun and good luck. Thanks. Have fun admiring building styles. Alright boys, we're in the deep now. This is bigger than the prize money and the production value. We're facing a greater and older force than we've ever seen before. Which is nothing. Shut up, Simon. She's infiltrated our former neighbor's friend circle and she's trying to turn them into cattle for her unquenchable thirst of blood. Stop being gross, Kevin. It's got your scent, Alex. You're the last one I came in contact with. Are you ready to be vamp bait? No! Alright, a quilt with the theatrics. We get it. We gotta ice this broad. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say we shouldn't stake this old lady in front of your mother. I doubt she wants any more trouble after all these years. Yeah. And she really wants to show off this tablecloth. We wouldn't want to ruin Sadie's evening now, would we? Please don't call her by her first name. That's Mrs. Pierce to you. That's Mrs. Pierce to you. Mrs. Pierce to you. Children, enough. Boys, Marty and his friends are here. Alex, this is too dangerous for you, so go upstairs and wait till the coast is clear. I'll tell Mom you're not feeling well. But Kevin? No buts. Sound like mom. Simon, you got the holy water? Check. Robbie, you got the banner to cook the steak? check a -roo. I think this thing's still moving. Alright, I got the silver cross. Let's get going. Let's get this rolling. Robbie, the steak will unleash her ravenous appetite. Animalistic, even. Alright, let's go in the kitchen so my mom can serve it with the others. We can start eating. Bonnie won't. Bonnie will be here in just a minute. Oh, that's fine, Marty. Alex isn't even down yet. Where is your brother? He wanted me to tell you that he isn't feeling well, and he'll be down a little late. Stomach bug? Belly ache? Tommy wumpus? I think just a belly ache. I knew you ate too much junk yesterday. It's what they put in those Wendy's buns. He's got a sensitive stomach, just like your father. He knows this. You get the runs from those buns. Mom, can you please say, where's Dad? You know your father. He's probably in the basement making some model airplane or something. I 
swear. Sometimes, like, I have three sons instead of a husband. Robert! Wait, that's rude. Uh, I'm sorry. Wait until I serve our guests. Uh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Pease. It's just that. <laughs> Sonny, you were a little on edge there. Oh, Robert, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry, buddy. I mean to scare you that bad. Are you okay? Tom, look what you did. You gave our guests a near heart attack. Baby, it was, it was the kid's project. I was just joking. I... Dad, shh. Is that makeup? You know who wears makeup, Tom? Clowns, Tom. You are a clown right now. Not always, but don't worry about him. He wa usually washes Dawson's Creek and then he'll sleep it off. She'll apologize in the morning. Did I miss anything? Who wants steak? I want steak. You all want steak? Yeah. Hear it mooing. I swear to God, I cooked these right. Could I have that one? I don't mean to be rude, but I do love a good rare steak. Are you sure? I mean, this one's bloody, like red bloody. I like it like that. Nothing like a good steak, Tata. Your mother told me that you're doing the film festival. Pretty neat. It seems like me and me, Marty and Clive are amateurs at this, but it seems like you three make videos all the time. Yes, the uh, Spirit Whippers, Spectre Smashers 246. We chronicle the mysterious disappearances and unexplained cases here in Lesterfield. We're doing the same thing for our video. Have you caught any glimpses of it? Glimpses of what? The Mothman. The Mothman? We've heard it dwells around the old mill area, so we've been looking for it. Have you been? I'm the only one who's seen the inside. Well, have you seen it? Well, we have a slightly different thesis to our film. Really? What? A vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, you watch too many movies. You said it was about the old mill. You lied to me. Not technically, because it's still about the old mill. You boys are going to do something stupid chasing after that fictitious nonsense. But Miss Pierce, we have horror stories, Reddit forums, ChillingTownyTales.com, and legends! Because the internet is full of nothing but factual information. I have seen it with my own two eyes and all the people in West Virginia. But we're in Lesterfield. Exactly, this is Lesterfield, where anything is possible. Including vampires. Say, do you boys have another one on your team? A little fella? You mentioned your names. Oh, really? Nope. nope not at all. You're my boys. Funny, he looked a little like you. Mm. Oh, oh, oops! Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so nervous about it. I'll clean it up. Heck, it's no problem. Heck, I spilled my Bloody Mary falling asleep in my lawn chair yesterday. Yeah, I bet you guys love doing that. What was that, Sonny? Nothing. There, there, all clean. Well, good luck to our fellow filmmakers. A toast! <coughs> hands up, Bonnie! Yes, hands up, you can breathe! Breathe! <coughs> Thank you, dear. You might have just saved my life. No problem. 
problem, Mrs. Adams. Just call me Barney, please. <coughs> Boys, I hope you never react to me choking like that. About as helpful as a deer in headlights. Don't blame the kids, Sadie. It's, it's scary enough to see something like that. And that little boy that Bonnie was talking about earlier better not be your little brother or I swear I'll... Is the vampire lady dead yet? No more movie, no more monsters, no more Spectre Smashers 246. Oh, Mom, but we're so close. Apologize to Mrs. Adams and our guests. But, but Mrs. Pierce... Now. Sorry, Mrs. Adams. It's all right, boys. We old timers get lost in the fun. But I would be so unhappy if I were the cause of the dismantling of the project. Please, let the children come with us. We're, me, Marty, and Clive are going to the mill anyways. We can do it together while we're there. Hmm. Well, boys, sounds good to me. We appreciate the offer. We really do, but we're kind of lone wolves on this project. I mean, we, we like to immerse ourselves into our work. Well, Robbie, you, Simon, and Kevin don't really have a choice, now do you? It's either with them or nothing at all. That would be great. We look forward to working with you all. Pleasure all now, this boy. Great job, Alex. Mom's mad at all of us. I know she even wants me in the same room as you. I'm sorry, Kevin. I really am. I was just... Scared? We all are, buddy. You're not the one that has to work with Nosferatu. I was thinking more of Queen of the Damned. Ew, Robbie. Gross. But I think that this could work to her advantage. How? Oh, she's infiltrated their friend circle. Now she's trying to infiltrate our team. We have the advantage of her age. She underestimates us. And I don't think she's going to reveal her position right now. She just wants to control. I think we should use this as an opportunity to observe, to document, and to study her. We still don't have enough information to conclude. The false teeth of missing canines, choking on holy water, the craving for raw meat. Circumstantial at best, Kevin. Remember, she is quite old, and it was a big ice cube. And she can walk in broad daylight. I have my suspicions, but I don't think she means us any physical or visible harm. But what if you're wrong? If I'm wrong, We ice this broad. Oh, hell yeah! I was looking forward to some vamp slaying action. Oh, hell yeah! Can I come? No! no! And don't say hell. Please, Kevin. I won't tell Mom, I promise. It doesn't matter anymore. We can't risk the old timers telling Mom. And I can't risk your neck and blood supply for us. I can sneak by you guys. Bonnie won't even notice me. She can smell your blood. She has your scent. Well, if she's what we think she is. Yeah, I think this might be a little too hardcore for you, buddy. It's pretty good. Fine, I get it. You don't even be on the team. You think I'm a little kid. You think I, I can't handle this. Well, guess what? I'm the one who went into the gold mill and put the girl pro up. I'm the one who told you guys about Bonnie. Well, if you're afraid of Mom, Kevin, then I don't want to hang up you guys anymore. Ouch, wait. Wait, Kevin. It's for his own good. I know he may be upset, but... He's safer sulking here than out there with us. Yeah, it's for the best. I guess you're right. I'll, I'll look for him later. Tomorrow's an important day. We might just be what Lesterfield needs. Got any spells or anything that'll make this easier? Thought you were done harassing me. I am, I am. I just wanted to spark some energy, lighten the mood. Ghost hunting's pretty dreary. I'm gonna go explore for a bit. You stay here in case anything happens. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Horror movie 101 here. Never split up if you're in the haunted house. It's basic logic, dude. Well, at the rate this is going, you'll have nothing to worry about. If I die, that's on you. Look who's concerned about ghosts now.
can stick together and just check the phone to see if we missed anything. Pretty smart, right? You're insane. Oh, okay, mister. Let's go explore a supposedly haunted mill because nothing could possibly go wrong. Okay, fine. Let's move. Just bring a flashlight. Let's roll. and louder, but then when I turned the corner, the sound stopped. Freaky. Yeah, just a bit. Well, you're the expert here. What does it mean? Truth be told, I'm not sure. That sound was definitely nothing normal. But I'm not sure if we're talking ghosts yet. Alright, well, let's keep moving this way and see what we find. <laughs> Damn it, it's locked. There are a few doors back there. Maybe we should try them? Good idea. Eric, over here. doing in an 18th century mill. Beats me. Someone must be collecting this stuff. Or something. We're not exactly sure what this room is. Some sort of collection of various objects. But some of these objects can be dated to have been made long after the closure of the mill. A we VHS tapes, plastic water bottles, the collar of Miss Allenfield's kidnapped cat. Wait, what? Tim, I think we may be a little over our heads here. You don't say. Should we call it a night? Come back tomorrow morning? I'm tempted to say no. I mean, like, this place is insane. But, yeah, I think we should call it a night. I gotta say, you've been coming up with some pretty sound ideas today. Congrats. Don't mention it. I've waited. Long enough for this moment. Let's go steal that best friend snatch, son of a- Marty! I know you're eager to find the moth man, but you've got to calm down a little bit. We promised the peers that we'd look after the little ones while they were filming. You know, I kind of feel bad for those poor kids looking for a vampire that they're never going to find. I kind of feel bad for those old timers. Looking for the Mothman, the little Mothman. Yeah, why do you think a vampire sounds like the Mothman? Trying to make a League of Monsters in Lesterfield or something? Sounds cool, Lesterfield League of Monsters. It's got a good ring to it. She could just be trying to take the attention away from herself. But that's not the point. We know we have a vampire in our vicinity. And we got to expose her. Alright, drop the topic. They're right there. What's up, Clark? You boys ready to go into the mail? Absolutely, Mrs. Adams. One did. Let's go. Looks like we 
we've got company today. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. As long as we don't let them know about the collection room, we should be fine. Sounds good. seen anything interesting yet, but hey, when the time is right, something will happen. Well, I wish the best of luck to you two. Thanks, you too. Oh, fine. Yeah, quiet. We have a bit of a problem. What's the issue now? The dang thing won't boot. <sighs> Could be a battery issue. Is it in properly? I think so. Here, let me check. Batteries busted. We're gonna have to go to LFTV and ask for a new one. Sorry. Oh, that's quite all right. We'll give them a ring. Thank you for all your help. No problem. Old Mill Extra Mom Place got it. It'll be there soon. Who was it? The old folks. The batter. Their, their camera battery's dead. Have fun. Fine joke. I'm not. I'm not going back to that old mill alone. Whether it was back there, it could still be waiting for us, and and I could do without seeing that again. Fine, I'll come too. It'll be pretty funny to see you cry again. Easy, there, Cody. You didn't handle it as well as I did. Whatever. Let's just go give those geezers their battery. Maybe it check in a bit to see our progress. We put a lot of faith into this all working out. Hey, wait up! I don't feel like staying here alone. Well, you kind of have to. Do I? Close early. Close early. I was reviewing the footage from dinner last night, and the evidence is conclusive. But I don't want to jump to anything too crazy before we take some more tests. We have to be careful, though. One wrong move, and we can get in trouble. Or worse. We can get so many views for this. How can we help, Simon? I don't want to go around stabbing old ladies with stakes. But we could approach her with the silver cross. If she reacts, we're golden. If she doesn't, we can play it off as if we were just trying to get into character. We have to get this. Let's go find her. Get your cameras rolling. We have to get this. Maybe we should follow them. That's risky business. Well, if we want this to work, we have to know what's going on here. We have to get up close and personal with whatever is here. Well, we already know that there's something in this building. I think it's perfectly fine in terms of knowledge for now. Fine, stay here then. Just know that you'll be receiving a lot lower cut than me and Mike. You're coming, right, Mike? Yeah, of course. See you later, Vince. Wait, I'll come. Get away from me! Don't run away! Don't get lost! 
He's in trouble. Oh no, it's gonna be okay. Don't shout. It's gonna be okay. Oh, I want my mommy. Jerry, help me. Hello there, boys. See, Alex just got a little scared. Get away from my brother, you sick freak! <laughs> Easy, children of the corn. Easy. What are you doing trying to stab old ladies? Stab old lady. What is she then? She's a vampire! Ooh, a vampire. This just got more interesting. Eric, stop filming yourself and help Betty White up! Oh, okay. Thank you, my boy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, 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 are you going to calm down? No! Well, what will make you calm down? Oh, kid, do you have a cross? I mean, you'd be real stupid to not have a crucifix with you. Yeah, I got a crucifix. Okay, well, give it to me. I'll give it to her. Crucifix, now! It's in the bag. Nice cross. Real silver. Nothing like a cool metal on a hot summer day. See? Can I let you go now? Not gonna go all Jack the Ripper on us? Yeah, you can let me go. Now, Bonnie here may be an odd duck, but I seriously doubt that she is a killer. She, she said she, yeah, she was going to get me. And she's probably terrible with children. But that just sounds like what any old woman would say to a kid that they're trying to catch up with. This is Adams. I owe you an apology. This is a huge misunderstanding. In fact, we all you an apology. I'm sorry. I thought you could turn into a bat on command. <laughs> oh, boys. We had quite the ruckus in here. Yelling and screaming. The came as quickly as we heard. Yes. So <laughs> many. Always. Thanks to this fine gentleman. <laughs> he helped me get me in. <sighs> These geezers don't know how to hurry. Yeah, I think it's the opposite of a like a cool. heavy stroll. Not surprised in the slightest. These men know the young food. Bunny! Oh. What happened here? Um, these boys just thought I was just another Christopher Lee, preying on the blood of innocent Lestophilians. How'd you get to that idea? I know I'm pale, but... We found these articles about this giant doe guy. Supposedly he was the first vampire in Lesterfield. Really? What article was that? Was it from our journalist branch? It was a uh, independent site. Chillingtownytales.com! Oh yeah, that totally checks out. Anybody else notice something different about this room? This must be the Mothman's lair. Alright, this is a little too weird. I think we should get going. Yeah, we should probably get going. Remember, 4 o'clock shut. Anything past the deadline is cancelled. Is it safe to say, guys, that none of you really got any hard footage of paranormal activity? Yeah, well, me neither. Some things go bump in the night, but never enough to make a story. Marty, I know my eye hurts bad, but... Oh, God. Sonny, can you 
you know all you have about these. Yeah, of course. Marty, these are all addressed to you. What? Yeah, from a Charles Freeland. Charlie. They date back more than 70 years ago. The first one from 1948. Dear Marty, stop. I'm so sorry, stop. I left in such a hurry, stop. Although I've only been gone for a short while, I miss you, chap. I hope we can see each other again. I've gone to live with my dad in California. He's got a great house, and, and he's a big shot producer. He wants, he wants to teach me the, the business. We've been in contact for a while now, sending each other letters, phone calls, and directions. Grandma's going to be mad, but I don't care. I'm going to make it big. Please write back soon. Love, Charlie. Charlie, still alive. Charlie's still alive. When was the last one dated? The last one was dated two years ago. A number. He left the number. Call it. Call it. Uh. Why isn't this working? Did you charge it? I always forget to charge mine. I haven't used this thing in three days. Why would I need to charge it? Seriously, that that that's a house phone. Give me the number. Just, just give it to me. I don't even know what a house phone is. Oh. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Charlie? It's Marty! Marty Bowman! Marty? Marty, is that you? God, you're alive! What are we going to do about the movie? We only have about 18 hours. Yeah. This is the movie. Look at this room. The mystery, the intrigue, the heartfelt ending. It's perfect. Well, whoever was here must have had the same idea as us. To whom it may concern, if you are reading this right now, then I am far gone, over the state lines, and most likely out of the country. I am an agent of chaos in this town, and may very well be the cause of the strange happenings in Lesterfield, Massachusetts. I do not do this for profit, and I do not do this for gain. The joy of seeing people participate and try to solve the unsolvable is something I have loved for many years. My time here is done, and most likely, so are your troubles. I hope whatever brought you here gave you courage, knowledge, a sense of closure, and I hope that this will still leave a little mystery in your lives. I am whatever you want me to be. Sincerely, the man of many faces. Guys, I have an idea. That's our submission has one whole team. Collective footage and compelling evidence that the letter that we found in the collection room has merit. It's raw, it's emotional. And the stars are glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's ours. You know what this means, right? What? 
they were the only submission for this year's film fest. Now that your project has merged, it appears that as though that you are the sole submissions and winners of this year's film fest. Congratulations! Hooray! Ah! Here you go. Good luck splitting that. Wait, wait, wait. When will our project be on there? I don't know. We're pretty backed up. I'd say a year or so. A year? A year? Hey, don't blame me. I'm just the messenger. Yeah, if you're the messenger, then who's the boss? Yeah, we like to speak to your superior. That's a uh, classified. That's just bad juju. ghosts and stuff. Not really. I'm just excited to see what you've created. Don't embarrass us tonight, Mom. Oh, hush. Surprise. Happy birthday. Monty, it's no one's birthday. Well, if it isn't my partners in crime. Alex, I like the new Dracula get-up. I'm gonna get ya. <laughs> oh, Monty. <laughs> Tim, Eric, great to see you guys. Feelings mutual, my friend. So, are we doing a double feature tonight or what? Maybe some man with many faces with some lighter material at the end? I don't know, The Exorcist? We'll see. Alex had not reached that level yet. I'll steal your soul. Weird kid, but you learned to love him. Kevin! Love me! Kevin! So, where's Simon? Oh, so uh, I guess he hasn't told you yet, huh? What? You're leaving? You didn't tell any of us? I didn't want to depress you guys during your summer. And anyhow, this kind of thing happens to me all the time. I didn't think twice about it. Oh, that's right. Military family probs. <laughs> Three years isn't bad, anyhow. Might be a new high. Uh, it's, it's a shame I never got to meet the people responsible for that mug of yours. Oh, Kevin, I'm blushing. Listen, for real though, stay in touch. I love you, dude. Not in a weird way. I'm sad to lose a fellow Spectre Smasher. We've done some of our best work with you, Maverick. Love you too, dude. You just made it weird by saying that. <laughs> Alright, bye. Stay nerdy. Always. <laughs> Popcorn's toast, my friends. Ooh, ooh. I love sponge popcorn. If no one has it, I will. To each his own, I guess. Guys, guys, guys! It's loading! Two detectives against forces they've never seen in their lives, protecting their town from unfathomable nightmares. Detective. The victims are toes in the neck. Could it possibly be vampires? <laughs> you should hear yourself, rookie. Vampires don't exist, but there's something in the country that has more confirmed studies than anything. What, sir? It's right behind you. Ah! What? Ha ha ha! Gotcha. What? <laughs> Coming soon to a theater near you, The Mothman Chronicles, a Charlie Freeling production based on a story by Vincent Gordon, Cody Mason, and Mike Belasso. What did we just watch? Definitely not our project. Say, Clyde, you look great. Marty, that wasn't 
me. But that was Charlie's production company. I'll call him. Siri. Call Charlie. I don't see Charlie in your contacts. Who does this? I gotta make a phone call myself. Charlie. Yeah. What? Some, someone, so, some cable people used my name? What? Huh? Hello? Tim Tim, it's Mike. I have a number from the film festival, Oster. Oh, oh, Mike? Oh, this is Mike I'm talking to. Oh, yeah, you're actually the guy I'm looking for. I know you're pretty mad at me right now about how you ripped off your story, but there's something important I have to sh tell you, show you. I don't have to listen to a damn word. One of the nights we went to the mill to, see, to check out what you guys were up to, but, and we came across something strange, and we managed to get a photo of it. All right, I'm listening. The night we were all in at the mill, I t took one last picture of what we found before we left. Yeah, and? I think you should come over and check it out yourselves. All right, I'll bite. Be there in a bit. See here on this episode with Spectre Smashers 246. The mystery is never quite solved. And that's when it's fun, isn't it? Unspoiled by reason, explanation, or conclusion. Passed down, twisted, evolved, mutilated by word of mouth. Becoming so obscure. So obscure that we can't understand it. So it frightens us. Yeah, yeah, I know. It may have been cruel to keep Marty waiting on his friend for so long. Hoarding all of his letters. By an image to keep up. An elegance to preserve. If Charlie was known to have no harm done to him, then where's the fun in that? Have I really harmed anyone? In my 200 years in Lesterfield? No, never, unless they deserved it. Sometimes I'd send teenage runaways crying back to their mothers, turning missing person cases into unbelievable stories. A few fires here and there, maybe a few missing dogs and cats ending up in animal shelters. But those aren't my doing. This town doesn't need a legend or a curse to have bad luck. All it needs is a couple of dry spells scattered across the eroding New England weather. Vampire's a little harsh, don't you think? Ghoul, freak, nerd, insect, mothman. Those names I prefer. Okay, I'll admit, some of your cats probably were my lunch. But hey, man's gotta eat. I truly think I'll be most fond of the group of friends I made from the years 2017 to 2019. They will miss me, and I will dearly miss them. And if there are any loose ends, I'll be long gone by then. And if you're confused by this chain of events, if you feel anything is unaddressed, well, we all love a little mystery to solve, don't we?
That's all right. I'll, um, I'll just go see what Dawson's doing on his prom night. Let's get up.